a hunch is telling me that this episode has something to do with the path of the ball. I don't know why, I don't know why I would have this hunch. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius, back at it again with the second OVA in between seasons three and four of Haikyuu. Last episode, we had Fuku Rodani versus Nekoma. Fuku Rodani won, and so now we have the Losers Finals. It's No Heavy versus Nekoma to find out who the third and final team qualifying for Nationals is going to be. Obviously, I want it to be Nekoma, but we're going to find out how that happens. I am super excited. We have a lot of shit talking. We have a lot of uh, mental gaming, we got physical gaming as well, we have inter-rivalries, we have motivations, we have lots of things going on, I am just so ready for it. Remember, if you guys want early access and full length to this show, all the other shows I'm watching, we are currently four episodes ahead on Patreon, make sure to check out that Patreon down below, links are always available for you guys, it's, sorry, it is super late at night, uh, don't forget to subscribe if you guys currently are not subscribed right now, click that bell so you guys always know exactly when I post, and then follow me on all social medias, Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch, at Dapper Darius, thank you guys so much. But uh, let's hop right on into this. High Q, Land vs. Air, or the second OVA, episode two, Path of the Ball. Nobuyuki. Oh. oh, this is how the this is how our big three came to know each other. That's when they said that last episode, winning nationals. Of course, they would say it at the same time. And then he was like, me too. Oh, I love that. He's just happy. He's a good dude. He's just, I love his personality. He's just a good dude. Path of the ball. Yeah. Yaku was popping off, but then he injured himself. I, you hate to see it. I love that slam, though. It was all Yaku that got injured. Damn. The hustle is crazy. Oh, his ankle probably is killing him. It's crazy to see how they've evolved from first year till now. So nice to each other. I love that from comrades. I feel him. I love their intense faces, though. They definitely plan on not letting their boy down, but I feel him. I love the visualization. He said, don't let him get to him, and then it lights up with their talking and how their color and everything. It's crazy. It reminds me a lot of Yamaguchi right now in this scenario. Just very nervous, which makes sense when you lack experience, you know? He's a replacement to the best libero, you know, so he doesn't get much play time at all. He just tells him straight up, this is what I see, this is what I don't see, you know? And he said it, so they believe him genuinely. I totally understand. True, no one to blame but yourself. I love that literal fire, you know, the inner fire in himself. He knows the nasty jump floater. Ooh, it's so hard to get those, especially when it cuts down so quick. With that reaction from Kuro's insane! Over to a quick to leave. See, on their side, they see the green, but on no heavy side, they feel the red from Nekoma. I love it. Yeah. Okay, Kuro. This is why I picked you for my team. I swear I remember that. I love the flashback. Even if you can't use, yeah, I like that, you know. Breathe, let that fucking pressure dissipate. You got this. Oh, yeah, feel the game. Get that flow in there. <laughs> oh, see, the green's gone. Hell oh, yeah, Nekomata always with that smile, that old man smile. That Libero dig. Ooh, right up. I love it. 
We need to get a break. We need uh, to get two in a row. Nice serve. Nice save, though. Timing's a little off. Ooh, but leave with the read. Yeah, that probably feels so good. Ken, Ken, I think Ken was the first one to introduce me to a dump, right? I've always loved it since then, since I first saw it. Okay, okay Liv. Synchro combo attack, minus tempo, four back attack attack. Ooh. Ooh, yep. See, that's what I like to see right there. <laughs> Yeah, no one would expect that, and it worked out beautifully. First set goes to us. Let's go. Let's go. This is the guy who's more enthusiastic than their current spiker. Oh, he's their main ace. That makes sense. Okay. Okay. Ooh, but his thumb is still very much in pain. But he's pretty nasty, you could tell. Damn. Oh, did they really? Ooh, that's dirty. They're the snakes. Snakes versus the cats right now. When you think about it like that, you know, there are aspects you can do outside the actual game itself that can get you points, like thanking the ref, doing this, that, and the other. Crazy. I can see why you hate it. Man, imagine him without that dislocated thumb. This would be a different game. But he was just acting as a pinch server right there, I'm guessing. What happened? Did he hurt his... Oh, damn. He's trying to not get like out of the game game. He's just trying to take a quick second. His, he really does have an emotionless face. He really can't read it. That's crazy. Yes, learn from every mistake you make. True. I love that response. Gotta write down his name, Shibiyama. It's because you're connected. Yeah. That's what a cohesive, you know, unit is. Ooh. Nice one touch, nice save. Ooh, nice double save into a spike on their save. Oh my god, this is a great rally. That's what some good instincts do. So he found the golden light, which is going to be our weakness, which is Shibayama. But we're not going to let that happen, right? Because he's going to dig that right up. Because he's a great libero. And then Kenma with the Fanta. I knew he was going to run for it. I knew. That's it. That's the game. That's the game. That's the game. Great job, Liv. Great job, Shibayama. Great job to that, that one guy who got the double save. Man, I wish I knew his name. Great job to everybody. Hell yeah. <laughs>
It's gonna feel great. It's gonna feel hella satisfying. I felt great. Hell yeah, that. Yeah. So if I'm if I'm gonna process that correctly, so normally he would instead of forcing him to go for normally Yaku, but this time Shibayama, he would go for it. Like, kind of fuck up the receive, but because Yaku's just so nasty, he would still get it anyway. But because he's realizing that how connected they are, they're literally the same person, that if he works to improve him rather than just do what he does and he does what he does, if he improves him, then it's going to be way better of a cohesive team. So instead of doing that normal flailing like he would do with Yaku being there, he purposefully did his insanely awesome, strict, right here, straight block forcing him to go there not like fucking up uh, shibayama's block though at all he gets the nice fully fully viewed receive dig and everything so it's like he just, it's just like i think switching out yaku op uh, definitely did but it's like crazy how that is a thing that opened his mind you know yeah it's like because they're one because they're connected Liev blocked him without even blocking him he literally is the reason he got blocked so it feels great i love it and the fucking goat comes back to a dub. Let's go. We'd love to see our fucking big three. Thanks, Shibuyama. Hell yeah. Ah, uh, this is the girl who dumped him. <laughs> he came to watch this game. Aww. Aww. That's a good way to connect with a, a significant other. That's cute. That was a nice little touch. And then Fukuridani. And Tachiyama's that nasty? Representative slot number one, Itachiyama. I'm actually super shocked they beat Fukuridani. Number two, Fukuridani. And then the venue sponsor representative, Nekoma. Interesting. That's it, man. Oh, there's an after credit scene. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm going to the spring tournament. He not to got the reply. He's get to see his boy again. <laughs> He's too excited. That's what happens. Hey, that was a fantastic episode. I love that. Like I said, fantastic episode. I, I love the ending. I love the realization with Leah. I kind of already went over it. How I, I loved how Kuro said it's going to feel good once you do it. And then he did it and it felt great. Uh, the interconnectedness, realizing that you can have such an impact by leading your teammates to be better and them having a better impact. You know, it just feels like it feels great even though you're technically not the star you're technically not the one doing the current action it feels great you leading your teammates to success i love the visualizations in this episode of like the of uh, no heavy feeling the red pressure and then nekoma feeling the green pressure that's such a cool just way of just at making that feel like even though you have an audience even though you have a coach a team everyone around you you're like you feel like you're isolated in this void of of just stress and anxiety because that's truly how anxiety feels like it cuts you off from the rest of the world very realistic i really enjoyed that i really liked the ace on no heavy and his passion for the game but also his passion for seeing his i'm guessing he's a third year which sucks because this is his last tournament i'm assuming but his passion for seeing his underling his uh his 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 next in line um ku, ku, kurugiri no it was Karugi, something like along those, along those lines, seeing him be frustrated and be more passionate about it because you know they're all in this together. And and then Mika obviously coming back to I forget his name, Mr. Goody Two Shoes, uh, admitting she was wrong, realizing why he has such a passion for this thing and asking to be taught. That's such a cute girlfriend, ex girlfriend thing to do right there. I'd be like, oh, you know, like you know, that's and she admitted she was wrong. That's just adorable. But I want to see it Itachiyama. Uh, that's how you say their name, right? Yeah, they have to be insane if they're if they're beaten. It did go to the third set, but they were able to beat Fuku Radoni, so I'm just I'm excited. Hopefully you guys are as well. Season four is next. Oh yeah, we're in there. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts in those comments down below. Check out Patreon if you guys want. We're four episodes ahead, early access. I appreciate y'all oh so so much. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, you guys. Peace out.